Once upon a time, there was a planet called Pacascas. The mountains were made of jelly, but of course no one could climb them because they were so slippery. The houses were made of bread. There were cheese bun houses, loaf bread houses, there were even donut houses, and houses made of butter cakes. Pacascas was a really tasty planet. The highways were made of wheat cakes, and the bumpy roads were made of sticky rice cakes. The lakes and seas of Pacascas were not like the ones we know. The rivers were milky white because they were milk. The seas, on the other hand, were made of creamy chocolate. The place where the milk and chocolate met was a heavenly place to drink. The citizens of Pacascas were no ordinary creatures. They were called Guyamyams. Naturally, they were fond of eating as food was all around them. They wouldn't stop eating. Day in and day out, the Guyamyams did nothing but eat and eat. They ate the mountains. They ate the houses and roads. They even drank their lakes and seas. Our planet tastes good, they said. One day, Wang Lu Yam Yam noticed that their planet was slowly being eaten away. The Lu Yam Yam's name was Ingaluk. My friends, he warned, let us cease this non-stop eating. We're stripping our beloved planet, and yet we are not rebuilding. When our natural resources are gone, there will be nothing for the future Lu Yam Yams to live on. But the Nguyamyams did not listen to Ingaluk. Eh, don't listen to Ingaluk. Some greedy Nguyamyams exclaimed. Just keep eating away. And when we've eaten up everything here, we'll just look for another planet. Go on, eat. They continued to eat their planet. Day and night, all they did was eat, eat, eat. Ingaluk became frightened. He saw that his planet was getting smaller and smaller every day. It's time to leave our planet, Ingaluk said sadly. Ingaluk and his family left their planet. They rode in a coconut spaceship and traveled far into space. When they looked back at their planet, they saw that half of it had been eaten away. Finally, Ingaluk and his family reached a new planet. Every night as they watched the planet Pacascas in the sky, it grew smaller and smaller until one day it simply vanished. Ingaluk cried about the sad fate of his beloved planet. Ingaluk thought long and hard about their newfound planet. He told his family, This new planet we have found must not perish like planet Pacascas. And he promised, This planet is our home. We will all take very good care of it. 